Hello, John here. Glad you could stop by. I just have a little rant today. Uh, Godfather was playing. I just happened to glimpse it and it reminded me of something that gnawed in my brain about the film ever since I first saw it. I saw it in the movie theater when it first came out. I've seen it a number of times in its entirety on TV and little portions of it if I'm flipping through and it's on and say, oh, this, this is newer, uh, good part. I'll watch the good part. But I have an issue with it. Well, first of all, let me say it's a great film uh, before I start on the flaw. It's a great film, and I can see why people pick it for their 100, in their 100 best films of all time or their top 10 films of all time. I can see why. Casting director did an excellent job. Just the sure number of like great actors in, in the starring parts, and even the minor parts, I don't think there was a... a a so-so actor and any even the small parts the plot was good and all but uh here's the major thing i have and it's a small thing but it involves the crucial thing that starts the whole ball rolling in the in the movie um Salazzo comes to the godfather and he wants a deal he wants a million dollars financing and he wants access to the politicians that the Don carries around in his pocket, like so many jingling coins. He wants protection. Well, that's good. Okay. Now, when the Godfather shot in the hospital and uh, the Corleone family is debating what's going to happen if he dies. Tom Hagen says, if the Godfather dies, we'll lose our political influence and half our strength. We'll lose our political influence. Isn't that what Salazzo wants? Is it that the major issue? Salazzo is getting rid of what he wants by killing the Don. It doesn't make any sense. Is he only doing it to shake them down for a million dollars? That doesn't make sense either. They could get money from the other families. Um, even when the Godfather uh, heals back up and they meet with all the other families, they complain about, well, you didn't let them drink from the well and use your political influence and all. But So if Tom Hagen was telling the truth that they lo would lose it if the Godfather dies... The whole reason he starts the war is, doesn't make any sense. And I don't think uh, Tom Hagen was mistaken because Sonny would have just said, that's BS, we would have had influence or something. Sonny wanted to take vengeance and all. So if that was just bullshit, he was said, told him it was bullshit, that it's not a major thing because Tom Hagen says, we'll have to accept the deal because of that. And... It, it, Sonny wanted to go to war, so if, it, if that was an illegitimate reason, he would just told him bullshit. So most people don't notice that, or I've never seen anybody mention it as a flaw or anything. I don't know if it just goes by so fast. They don't pay attention. They don't care. Uh, there's so much action and drama and everything else going on. They don't even consider it. I don't know. I just had to rant about it because, like I said, I saw it, and every time I see it, I'm like, it's just like a little thing that gnaws. And the more I see it, it's like, uh, I don't know what they could have come up with a better reason. They have to come up some reason that uh, to start the thing. But to me, that's, that, that is a flaw in, in the plot. And many people say it's the movie's flawless. And I think that's one for me. Now, if you have an explanation, I'm, I'm interpreting it wrong or that kind of thing, let me know. So... Thanks for tuning in.